Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Fatty Johnsons. I'm Adam Schumann. I'm going to be repping Fatty Johnsons tonight. I'm going to be making for you a fatty Manhattan. Um, it's just a, a fun twist on a Manhattan. Uh, we have it on our menu at Fatty Q, and we, we've been running it here at Fatty Johnsons, just using a different brand of whiskey. So we're going to start by taking two ounces of Templeton rye. Templeton is a small batch rye, prohibition rye out of Iowa. Um, it was bootlegged by Al Capone, slightly lower in, uh, in alcohol. For that reason, we're going to use a little bit less than we normally do. We're only going to use one and a half ounces, and we're going to cut it with a half ounce of Rittenhouse, which is a much higher proof alcohol. This is 100 proof. Am I lying? No, I'm not lying. Bond and 100 proof right there. And that's going to basically just dry it out instead of it being uh, clawingly sweet Manhattan. It's going to be a bit drier. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take two different types of vermouth. We have Carpano Antico, which is a richer style of sweet vermouth. We're going to take a half ounce of Cochi Americano. Uh, I love this stuff a lot. It's a, an aromatized wine. Main flavors are Gentio, which kind of gives it that bitter quality, and also citrus, which really lightens it up. We use it a lot in, in everything, kind of. On top of that, we're going to take a quarter ounce of smoked cherry coke syrup. Uh, the way we make smoked cherry coke is we, we take the syrup that comes in a bag that normally goes to our soda gun. We milk it into a hotel pan. We put it in a smoker and smoke it for X amount of time. Uh, the wood kind of changes depending on which woods we're using. Sometimes we use American oak. We've used cherry wood, which makes a whole lot of sense when you're smoking cherry syrup. We've also used hickory. This was smoked with uh, American oak. And on top of that, we're going to take a couple of dashes of Angostura bitters, since this still is a Manhattan, just the fatty Manhattan. Go ahead and crack a little bit of ice into the glass. It's really important that you stir this drink for an appropriate amount of time or else your final result will be a touch sweet, and that is not desirable. We like balanced cocktails, not, not balanced cocktails. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what I'm saying, too? Yep. Wait. Oh, you like? Uh, I also like to serve this drink on one ice cube. It just allows for it to dilute a little bit further once it's in the glass. Um, uh, I found it. I found it to be a touch too sweet when, when we didn't have the ice cube. So that, that's how we've been rolling with it uh, ever since Fatty Q opened about seven months ago. And nothing, nothing but uh, good results. If you haven't been there, by the way, you should go check it out. It's in Williamsburg, South Williamsburg, just under the bridge between. Uh, where is it between again? It's been a while. Bedford and Berry, 91 South Sixth Street, doing ridiculous barbecue. Uh, I mean, ridiculous barbecue. It doesn't get much better. Like that. Plugging it. Plugging it. Plugging it. Nailed it. You know, have a good one. Yeah, two things tonight. Bye bye. Two bags. I'm out, kid. You're out. Have a good night. Stir that up. Yo. I'm starting. Let's start multitasking. We, we are multitasking. All right, and that's it. All right, I'll see you guys. Stirring it a little bit longer than normal. Proper dilution. We're going to go ahead and strain it over our one ice cube that's in our rocks glass. And that gets finished with the twist of one lemon. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to go get my chair. And we have one brandy cherry on a bamboo skewer. And there you have it, a fatty Manhattan. Come get one at Fatty Johnson's while we're still here.